energy cooperatives serve a massive part of this country, and I feel like for quite a long time, they've been skirting under the radar. The Electric Cooperative Innovation Center, or ECIC as we call it, um, is a new research center um, that I founded together with my colleague, Professor Keith Taylor at the University of California, Davis. Uh, and together, our idea was to build out a model and framework for partnerships between universities and electric cooperatives. We are two of the only researchers that are looking at the electric cooperative sector and their role in the energy transition that we're facing. People look at utilities as probably a fairly boring industry uh, from the outside. They may look at cooperatives as even more boring than a boring industry. The industry is extremely exciting and has been for a quarter century. It's only become more so. It's an exciting industry. There's probably more going on right now than in the last hundred years or since the invention of the light bulbs. The EVs are coming. The heat pumps are coming. All of this huge electric load shift is coming. Today we have uh, over 800 electric cooperatives throughout the country that provide this very unique institutional structure of not-for-profit, democratically controlled, reinvestment focused utilities that serve the majority of rural areas. You have to have a margin. If there's no margin, there's no mission. You know that. But we're, we're trying to do it. We're service oriented organization. Involving our employees so they know when they come to work today their why, their purpose of what we are trying to accomplish. We uh, give our members about two million dollars a year in rebates so they can buy less of what I'm trying to sell them. The fact that they welcomed us with open arms I think really gave me a sense of how they see their, their consumer members as family and they, and they drive their mission. We're closer to the member. That, to answer your question, we hear what the member says, and if we do something wrong, we hear what the member says. So this past week, we spent a week uh, traveling electric co-op infrastructure systems, meeting with managers and power plant operators uh, and uh, staff at uh, electric co-op utilities all through North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota. It was really great to just see like a really, uh, like the whole system all together and just see all of the pieces. I think I'm a little bit jealous. Uh, you actually have seen a lot of the system that, you know, I've tried to get out there a lot, but you've seen a lot in the space of about a week or so. They say when you see one cooperative, you've seen one cooperative. <laughs> so we're all different, we each do things a little bit our own way. So in that way, they play an important role that's often overlooked of the diversity they bring. Because the energy transition is so complex, a lot more people need to get real smart on what's happening really quick. It took a lot of what we learned in class, a lot of the concepts, um, and it was great to see those in practice, like in the real world. Gorgeous sunny day. Nice time to be walking around. Solar project. You and people like you are, are gonna be part of that to help us into the future. You know, now when some of our students go out into careers, whether it's regulating utilities, working in a utility, working in energy development, now they'll have in the back of their head or even in their phone book, uh, someone who is impacted directly by those decisions. And I think energy touches every aspect of society. I mean, it's, it's in everything. Like my little three-year-old daughter calls, Mommy, is that the cloud maker? I'm like, yep, that's the cloud maker. So it's not just about engineering, it's about people. So that's where I'd say the biggest takeaway is we got to keep working together on all sides, whether it's environmental or engineering or, you know, policy side, all of that's got to come together. And that's what we do at the university is bring in, you know, brilliant young minds, work with them for two years uh, to develop their skills and then put them back out in the real world. I think uh, this is a really good trip and uh, I really appreciate uh, everyone just help this trip turn to reality. So I just think this was a unique experience that I won't forget. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.